Ice, I mean, career high, six RBIs. Um, just how good were you seeing the ball today? And really, how much as a senior do you think, I've got to do this for this team right now? Yeah, absolutely. It was it was a good day. Um, you know, it, it a lot of it starts with that first at bat. And, and you know, when, when something good happens, that first at bat, it, it, it just helps the confidence and, and just every at bat for the rest of the game. But uh, yeah, that's 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 my job on this team. I've said it a million times, but I've got to I got to come up in those situations with runners on and and drive them in. And, and you know, that's my role on this team is to uh, to score runs and, and drive guys in. So uh, you know, I'm happy I'm happy that I was able to do that today. Becker, just how are you feeling just right now with your role and, and kind of do you feel like you're hitting the wall or just what? How's the arm feeling? And how do you feel like your role's kind of going right now? Um, I feel good. I mean, we're winning. We won the last three. That's all that really matters to me. I'm a really competitive guy, so as long as we're winning, as long as I get to contribute, and that way, like my contribute, my contribution is positive. I'm, we're good. Matthew, you've come into some you know high pressure situations before, especially this series mm -hmm. like yesterday. Coming today, you got a four run lead, but still, it's like, well, if you get in some trouble here, mm -hmm. how much does a catch like Andrews to start that eight there over by the tarp help you uh, with your confidence? Oh, uh, tremendously. Getting that first out to. The first step in a really good inning. I mean, the catch was it yesterday with Stone. I mean, that's just it's awesome to have a great defense behind me. I mean, the whole outfield, all everybody in the infield, and then Burgie behind me or in front of me, stealing pitches. It's just can't ask for any better. You know, I think 14 hits. You guys got hit five times tonight. Drew a bunch of walks. Just how is this one of the better offensive performances you guys have had this season? And just how nice was it to have that going for a much needed sweep? Yeah, no, it absolutely was, and and to get it, you know, on on day three, and you know, I, I was telling some guys before the game that, that this is, these are my favorite kind of games. Uh, you know, every, everyone loves the Friday nights under the lights, but I love these these game three of the series that were, you know, either playing for the win, the series win, or playing for in this uh, in this case a sweep. Um, and we just we just play better during the day, honestly. You know, I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's just a. Third, third uh, game of the series, Sunday thing. You know, you know, it's usually they're not throwing their best guy. I don't know if it's that or, but we just we play better baseball in these kind of games. And um, you know, our our offense goes when we're getting guys on early and we're getting free bags, walks, uh, hit by pitches. And today we're fortunate enough to, to also get 14 hits with that. Um, and so you know, having those two things, it's going to be. It's going to be hard to, for the other team to score more runs than we do when we do those. Andrew, you mentioned, you know, as you walked in, you were out there signing autographs and seeing the fans. I wanted to ask just for you, you know, getting the sweep today and then with only a few home games really left, you know, just soaking it all in. What's that feel like for you, if you could speak to that a little bit? Yeah, no, that's, that's I've, I kind of thought about that coming into uh, Thursday's game is, you know, I only got two more series at home and, uh, you know, it's a lot different than, than playing on the road, and I just got to do my best of trying to soak it in and, and really appreciating it because, um, you know, sometimes it's easy to take it for granted, uh, especially when it's early in the year, middle of the year, and, uh, you know, this year it went by really fast, and it's definitely snuck up on me. So, um, you know, it was a great, great second-to-last home series. Um, you know, I couldn't have asked for anything better. And, and, and like you said, to have – to have all those kids, you know, after the game asking for autographs and pictures, and, you know, that just tops it all off. And kind of follow up on that, uh, since you're the veteran, as Yogi said, it's getting late early, and the uh, season's starting to run out on you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you're 9-12 and 12 in the league. I mean, how do you feel about your postseason chances? I know the old one game at a time sort of thing, but you have to be looking at the big picture yeah. in the calendar. And How do you, as a veteran who's been there, kind of, see where you guys are and what you can do yeah so i mean the fact of the matter is 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 we've really struggled on the road this year and two of our next three series are on the road and essentially we need to double double the amount of road wins we have the whole season in these next three weekends and you know this is a this weekend was a great way to, to start off a little hot streak like that and and if we can just keep this going keep this energy going and and you know, keep the bats going. Obviously, you know our pitchers and defense are going to go out and play like they do all the time. Um, but if we just if keep keep this momentum going, then we'll be in a, we'll be in great shape. I think. Matthew, really, to kind of follow up on that. I mean, do you look at numbers and standings at this point? And say, here's where we got to get to feel good about playing beyond the SEC tournament. Uh, not really. I mean, obviously, it's like first year here, so I don't like know all the kind of stuff that you got to be at, like how many wins you got to have. 
I'm just focused on one day at a time. Like Coach King always says, <clears throat> one game, one pitch, and at the end of the day, no matter the result, win or lose, go back to work the next day. And you kind of talked about the free bases, and that's when the offense is kind of at its best. How do you guys stay consistent with that, knowing that some games you're going to have – it's going to be different game to game in terms of trying to – how do you create that? Moment? Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough to – you know, in a way, you can really sometimes you really can't create those kind of things. And then those are the days where we need to rely on timely hitting and and – Getting 14 hits a game in a game would be nice, also. But now there's going to be there's going to be lots of games. You know, Auburn last weekend essentially no free bases. You know, the whole weekend they did a really good job at just pounding the zone and, and not giving anything free. And those are the kind of games that we really got to string things together offensively. Um, but days like these, when we get those free when we get those free bases, we got to take advantage of them. And we've done a really good job of that. But it's not going to happen every day. Thank you guys.